I have never considered myself a poet. I have no interest in poetic artistry. The ego is partly free, partly determined, and reaches fuller freedom by approaching the individual who is most free, God. The thought of a limit to perceptual space and time staggers the mind. Nations are born in the hearts of poets, they prosper and die in the hands of politicians. I am but as the spark that gleams for a moment, his burning candle consumed me the moth, his wine overwhelmed my goblet, the master of rum transmuted my earth to gold and set my ashes aflame. Words, without power, is mere philosophy. I lead no party, I follow no leader. I have given the best part of my life to careful study of Islam, its law and polity, its culture, its history and its literature. Thou art not for the earth, nor for the heaven the world is for thee, thou art not for the world. Plants and minerals are bound to predestination. The faithful is only bound to the divine orders. It is the mysterious touch of the ideal that animates and sustains the real, and through it alone we can discover and affirm the ideal. Physiologically less violent and psychologically more suitable to a concrete type of mind. The truth is that the religious and the scientific processes, though involving different methods, are identical in their final aim. Both aim at reaching the most real. Destiny is the prison and chain of the ignorant. Understand that destiny like the water of the Nile, water before the faithful, blood before the unbeliever. It may, however, be said that the level of experience to which concepts are inapplicable cannot yield any knowledge of a universal character, for concepts alone are capable of being socialized. But inner experience is only one source of human knowledge. Islam is itself destiny and will not suffer destiny. In the first period religious life appears as a form of discipline which the individual or a whole people must accept as an unconditional command without any rational understanding of the ultimate meaning and purpose of that command. My ancestors were Brahmins. They spent their lives in search of God. I am spending my life in search of man. Be not entangled in this world of days and nights, thou hast another time and space as well. It is the nature of the self to manifest itself, in every atom slumbers the might of the self. If faith is lost, there is no security and there is no life for him who does not adhere to religion. Unbeliever is he who follows predestination even if he be Muslim, faithful is he, if he himself is the divine destiny. The immediacy of mystic experience simply means that we know God just as we know other objects. God is not a mathematical entity or a system of concepts mutually related to one another and having no reference to experience. Though the terror of the sea gives to none security, in the secret of the shell, self-preserving we may dwell. But the universe, as a collection of finite things, presents itself as a kind of island situated in a pure vacuity to which time, regarded as a series of mutually exclusive moments, is nothing and does nothing. Why hast thou made me born in this country, the inhabitant of which is satisfied with being a slave? The soul is neither inside nor outside the body, neither proximate to nor separate from it. I have seen the movement of the sinews of the sky and the blood coursing in the veins of the moon. The possibility of a scientific treatment of history means a wider experience, a greater maturity of practical reason, and finally a fuller realization of certain basic ideas regarding the nature of life and time. Yet higher religion, which is only a search for a larger life, is essentially experience and recognized the necessity of experience as its foundation long before science learned to do so. Failure is not fatal until we surrender trying again as the key of glorious victory. If the object of poetry is to make men, then poetry is the air of prophecy.
The new world is as yet behind the veil of destiny in my eyes, however its dawn has been unveiled. When truth has no burning, then it is philosophy, when it gets burning from the heart, it becomes poetry. Vision without power does bring moral elevation but cannot give a lasting culture. I have seen the movement of the sinews of the sky, and the blood coursing in the veins of the moon. Divine life is in touch with the whole universe on the analogy of the soul's contact with the body. But the perception of life as an organic unity is a slow achievement, and depends for its growth on a people's entry into the main current of world events. I, therefore, demand the formation of a consolidated Muslim state in the best interest of India and Islam. For centuries Eastern heart and intellect have been absorbed in the question, Does God exist? I propose to raise a new question. New, that is to say, for the East. Does man exist? The ultimate purpose of religious life is to make this evolution move in a direction far more important to the destiny of the ego than the moral health of the social fabric which forms his present environment. The ultimate aim of the ego is not to see something, but to be something. From love's plectrum arises the song of the string of life love is the light of life love is the fire of life. Indeed, in view of its function, religion stands in greater need of a rational foundation of its ultimate principles than even the dogmas of science. The wing of the falcon brings to the king, the wing of the crow brings him to the cemetery. Ends and purposes, whether they exist as conscious or subconscious tendencies, form the wrap and woof of our conscious experience. But only a brief moment is granted to the brave one breath or two, whose wage is the long nights of the grave. The heart is like a mirror. Do not prevent it from being broken. Its breakage is more dearer in the sight of its maker, Allah, than its safety. Almighty Allah being indeed the maker. Inductive reason, which alone makes man master of his environment, is an achievement, and when once born it must be reinforced by inhibiting the growth of other modes of knowledge. It is true that we are made of dust, and the world is also made of dust, but the dust has motes rising. Another way of judging the value of a prophet's religious experience, therefore, would be to examine the type of manhood that he has created, and the cultural world that has sprung out of the spirit of his message. I said, the thing we quested after is never attained. He said, the unattainable, that thing is my desire. People who have no hold over their process of thinking are likely to be ruined by liberty of thought. Man is primarily governed by passion and instinct. A wrong concept misleads the understanding, a wrong deed degrades the whole man, and may eventually demolish the structure of the human ego. That is why, according to this newer psychology, Christianity has already fulfilled its biological mission, and it is impossible for the modern man to understand its original significance. Sexual self-restraint is only a preliminary stage in the ego's evolution. It is the lot of man to share in the deeper aspirations of the universe around him and to share his own destiny as well as that of the universe, now by adjusting himself to its forces, now by putting the whole of his energy to his own ends and purposes. Art, if the object of poetry is, to make men, then poetry is the air of prophecy. Conduct, which involves a decision of the ultimate fate of the agent cannot be based on illusions. People who have no hold over their process of thinking are likely to be ruined by liberty of thought. If thought is immature, liberty of thought becomes a method of converting men into animals. Rise above sectional interests and private ambitions. Pass from matter to spirit. Matter is diversity, spirit is light, life and unity. But only a brief moment is granted to the brave one breath or two, whose wage is the long nights of the grave. 
the standpoint of the man who relies on religious experience for capturing reality must always remain individual and incommunicable. Why should I ask the wise men, whence is my beginning? I am busy with the thought, where will be my end? Since love first made the breast an instrument of fierce lamenting, by its flame my heart was molten to a mirror, like a rose I pluck my breast apart, that I may hang this mirror in your sight. Alas for a love whose fire is extinct, a love that was born in the holy place and died in the house of idols. The alchemist of the West has turned stone into glass, but my alchemy has transmuted glass into flint pharaohs of today have stalked me in vain. Thus passing through the infinite varieties of space we reach the divine space which is absolutely free from all dimensions and constitutes the meeting point of all infinities. I am a hidden meaning made to defy the grasp of words and walk away with free will and destiny as living, revolutionary clay. Become dust and they will throw thee in the air, become stone and they will throw thee on glass. The scientific observer of nature is a kind of mystic seeker in the act of prayer.